Hello, you are welcome to Some Trust Teacher on YouTube. If you are new to this channel, please do want to subscribe and turn on the notification button. Now, for today's video, we will be dealing with subsets, okay? So we take it to be understanding subsets. Now, first, you know what set is, I believe that, okay? Okay, for all of us to be on the same page, let's define set. A set is a set is a collection or oh, a set is a well-defined collection collection of object so we see here that a set is a well-defined collection of objects for example i can say okay let's list all the numbers less than 10 so we're going to start from you are saying all integers less than 10 we're going to start from negative infinity to your nine all right that's whole numbers if i say let's list all natural numbers greater than 100 and less than 200 so we're going to start from 101 101 till 199 so we define what you want to collect the object you want to collect we define it and that the group of elements that we've defined okay gives us a set great now subset is just um a part of a set for example if we have a set a let's define a to be elements okay or numbers starting from one to five that is one two three four five now an element b is said to be a subset of a if b consists of some element of a or every element of a for example if b consists of one two three then b is a subset of a now b is also a set containing some elements of a so at that point you call b a subset of a okay great and we also have another one c we can also have another set c which consists of one two three four five sorry let me add five here so c and a are the same actually but we can also call c a subset of a we can also call b a subset of a now to avoid the confusion let's consider the two types of subset that we have proper and improper subset so we'll be looking at that now you will know the difference between this b and this c looking at that the element here is contained here but this one is not properly contained in here so what could it possibly be improper subset Let's look at that. All right. Now we have a proper subset. Let's still consider a set A to be elements from 1 to 5. Okay, let's write it this way. Now, A should be X such that X lies between 1 and 5. Okay? I hope you can list this out. We say that our set a should be x such that x starts from one and ends at five that is to say that a should be from one two three four five so this is the listing method okay great now um a proper subset of a is any any set a proper subset of a of the set a is any set that has elements in a and the elements are not the same as that of a let me take it again sorry now a proper subset of a is a set which contains elements some elements in a which contains some elements in a for example if we have b okay just like we considered earlier we have b to have elements one that is a single item or we can have another b another set which can contain two of the elements in A, but not all elements in A. Therefore, B is said to be properly contained in A. And look at the notation we made use of. Properly contained, or is a proper subset. That's it. This thing we make use of. B is a proper subset of A. That is to say, every element in B, whatever set it is, okay, is inside the set A inside of it that is to say some element of a so b is a proper subset 
of A, or we say that B is properly contained in A. Okay, how about the case of the improper subset? Now, let's still make use of, okay, let's change something now. So, you know, say we're making use of only A. Okay, so our A consists of elements A to E. Great. Now, if we have an a, an a set C, which is another set C, maybe we're explaining, we're defining something else, we have it to be B, comma D only. Then, we can say that C is what? A proper subset of A. Great. But what happens if our C was A, B, C, D, E? What do you say? Now, you can see that every element in A is every element, sorry, every element in C is every element in A. So, it will not be very good to say that C is properly contained in A or that um, C, the element in C is some element in A, no. But rather, that every element in C is every element in A. So we can simply say that A is equal to C. The two are the same because they consist of the same element. Okay? Great. That is very true. That A is equal to C. Good. But what if we were considering C as a subset of A? We can just say that C is properly contained. Okay? Is improperly contained in A. That is the properly contained and the equality sign, you know, just like we have your greater than or equal to and your less than or equal to, so we can use that to say proper subset or equal to, that makes it improper subset. So improper subset is when the set have the same element, okay, at that point we can say they are equal, great, equality of set, and proper subset is when one set has some element of the other set. So a set A has some element of the universal set. Then we can say A is a subset of the universal set. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you understand subset by now when it comes to the proper and the improper subset, starting from the definition of set and definition of subset. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and um, I would like to see your comment and your questions under this. All right, bye for now.